I am going to tell you five tips by which you can get almost sure shot Canadian tourist visa. 99.9% .9 sure you will be able to get your Canadian tourist visa if you are able to answer these tips, these questions, these tips in an amicable and tenacious way. Before this discussion of five tips for Canadian tourist visa, please subscribe my channel like my channel and share my channel with your friends to get further updates of latest immigration and the visa news of almost all developed countries. Welcome to Advantage of Immigration and the Visa News Channel. I provide news of immigration and visa in a very simple way so that you can understand the immigration laws and I also counsel you and I also get, uh, do the analysis of the true news. Now we drive to our topic, we jump back to our topic, five tips of Canadian tourist visa. There are only five questions. If you are able to answer these five questions in your cover letter and you are able to justify by your documents, according to Canadian rules, not by your rules, your rules are different, Canadian rules are different you are able to get your Canadian tourist visa. Your visa officer will see only five these answers according to Canadian law. Number one, what you do, I mean what is your job, what is your business, which type of the work you are doing. Number two, how much earning you have, how much earning you are doing. $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 earning. Which property you own? Which investment you own? How much property you have in your own country? Because tourist, uh, the, the visa officer wants you to know you will come back to your own country or not. When you will be in Canada, you will come back to your own country or not. That's the answers. You don't know the answers. I am just asking questions. These questions, answers, according to rules of Canada, which I will tell you. Number four. Number four. Why you are going to Canada? What is your purpose? What is your main purpose? Number five, number five, when you will go back to your own country. These five questions, now you will say, you will say, sir, these five questions are very easy. Anyone can write. That's the point I'm talking about. Any person can write the answers of these questions, but the person will get the visa who will write the answer of these five questions according to requirement of IRCC Canadian rules. This is the point. For example, I will tell you, IRCC, even any country, Canadian IRCC I'm talking about because Australia also, same type of rules for visit visa, that this person, this person who is coming to Canada has strong ties with own country, with family, with job, and he will 100% sure that will go back. Now you will say, no, I'm not going to come back from Canada. I'm going to work in Canada. That rule is different. See my one clip. You cross the airport, the rules are different. The rule itself announced by Canadian Prime Minister that tourist visa can be converted into the work permit. But the rules before tourist visa is something else in Canadian embassies. Even, even at airport, I recorded one clip in which Canadian Airport one person told I came for work and he was deported back. Until you will not cross the airport, you are a tourist, you have to come back to your own country. You have to justify by these five answers. You have to justify. You will tell straightforward, I will say, straightforward, I will say that uh, I am a tourist and I will come back. Straightforward, nobody will accept you. Until you will predict your own portrait from head to your feet. Just like a student get Australia visa, when he will satisfy his blood, his body, his brain, everything, want to study in Australia, not going to visit Australia, to study Australia and will not stay in Australia permanently, primary purpose, this education, this course content, this university and this degree will help me in coming back to Australia in India and India economy of agriculture and business and etc. because he's compared so amicable course content with the course content of India similarly in tourist visa by specific keywords 
by specific keywords, by specific points of justification. These are just games of English words because they are not conducting your live interview. Australia started now live interview with the students. Now they have to answer uh, which they were writing statement of purpose was total visa for Australia some, some days back. Now Canadian tourist visa, your cover letter is visa in which you need to justify that you are the person who is the only genuine person of the world to visit Canada and you have no 0% intention you have no 0% intention to stay permanently in Canada now you will say sir this is total lie there are some Muslims also watching and there are some Hindus watching and there are some Christians walking they will say in all over religions we can't speak lies sir we are going to work in, a, in Canada we are not going to visit Canada so why we say in cover letter that we are going we have zero percent intention you will not say zero percent your words will show that you have zero percent intention to work uh, to visit Canada not to work in Canada now I will tell you of course you have intention of work and I will also tell you Canadian government also knows that you are coming for work 99% of the people who are coming to Canada from Asian sides, they are going for work. They know that. But technically, they are following their laws, procedures. They need to follow procedures. If they will write in IRCC that Canadian tourist visa, you need to say that you can work straightforward. <coughs> all world will start applying for work visa in the Canada and all world will start working. You know that only 10 people out of 10 people, two people can uh, search the work in the Canada. It's very difficult to find the work because you need you need <coughs> leave me a proof letter. Leave me a proof letter. It's very difficult to get in Canada. Out of 10, only two people will be able to get. Therefore, you need to justify. Of course, you are going for work, but you need to justify. You need to remain in the domains and the circles of Canadian and IRCC laws that my job in which I have output, I can't imagine that I will leave this job. How I will be away from my job for some time. But this script will learn me these skills i will see businesses in canada i will see how these people are developing how they are revolutionary changing their economy how these people are speaking i would like to see some historical places each person scenario is different in last i will tell you of course of course you are uh, able to write you may be more educated you may be more um, uh, you may be more better by all way but please don't write your cover letter yourself because you don't know IRCC laws better you go to any liar you don't go to any consultant who can write cover letter according to their domains this is the question of your future one time your visa will refuse you would not be able to get the refusal visas I am also starting a, a, a campaign to help refused people the P U P visas refused because point by point I can I can I am so confident I did that I am so confident I will justify it and he will be able to there were a lot of examples I had but my brothers my sisters if you need any help in writing cover letter with the five tips I told you you are not able to write yourself you can do me email I will help you thank you very much if on immigration and visa news Fun, I should have consider. Thank you very much.